So tired. Still recovering from last night's Invest Fest. First time there, um, it was really fun. Bought some stuff, seen some stuff, heard some stuff. Yeah, it was nice. Um, right now, I'm about to head to the gym. Yeah, I do want to wear this little, I think that's my neighbor. I do want to wear this little top I bought from Forever 21. It has the matching tights, but I mean, it's like yesterday was like 100 degrees. Today is probably going to be like 100 degrees. But I don't know, like, you know, when you buy something, you just want to wear it so bad. Giving a little, you know, Lululemon type. Um, is this supposed to be, yeah, I think it's supposed to be cropped. But it's cute, it's so comfy, it's so soft. I don't know, maybe my mind might change when I get outside, so we shall see. All right, guys, so before we go, I completely forgot. Sorry if you hear that, that's my dishwasher going. Um, vitamins. Vitamins. <laughs> yes guys I do take a lot of stuff this is collagen multivitamin probiotics apple cider and d3 oh, my least favorite part of the day because every time I take these vitamins I feel like I want to throw up like look how big my collagen vitamins are if you could see they don't even look like you should swallow them. Like, it's like, you should put them somewhere else. <laughs> yes, and no breakfast, unfortunately. So, me and Booby been doing. Ugh. Whoo. Me and Babe been doing the, um, intermittent fasting so I won't eat until 12 but that's fine the first couple of days I was doing it I was like I'm hungry I need food like and the thing about it is oh speaking of oh my goodness look at what he just texted me y'all like that's so crazy it says, be beautiful, be confident. You're the prettiest woman in the world because I said so and you think so. Heart, own it. I was just venting to him the other day about like how and I'm like, I'm not confident enough to like record and you know, things like that. I'm like, nobody wants to watch and da, da, da. like for me, YouTube is so fun, but I don't know like, Sometimes I just feel discouraged, you know what I mean? So getting words like that from him is. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so I take these vitamins and I some, the, I, the collagen just be killing me because I really feel like I want to throw up. But my gummies are like the best. My probiotics and my Vitafusion Maltese. These are seriously like gummy bears. And they are like, they're the cutest thing. Look. Mm-hmm. I got them from Target. Speaking of Target, I may have to step there today. So after the gym, I have to get a water filter. So um, this is my favorite water. Only water I drink. But... It's costly, like every day. I mean, it is and it's not, but I just don't be having time every day like to go, you know, and get one. And then it's like, when I'm at work, only certain places have them. So it's just like, uh. So I was just gonna get a filter and fill up my, ga my gallon water bottle and have that every day at work. 
rather than like buying three to four of these a day. Makes sense because like this is the small one. Um, what is this? One liter. And I feel like I need three, the way I drink water. So yeah, and then each one of these are like three bucks. And that's before I even like buy lunch, which is like a fruit salad. And then Publix be like carrying with their fruits because it's like, why are you charging me $10 for some cut of watermelon? When I could definitely buy a whole watermelon for like $4. But it's the laziness in me. A friend of mine did tell me that. She's like, girl, you better cut that watermelon up, but say, get that home. And just the thought of it is like, Ugh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Cube me, please. So yeah, I'll be buying that. And then even the um the diced pineapples, the diced watermelon, um, like the little bowl, the little fruit bowls. It'd be like $11, $12. Not to mention if I want something with like pomegranate or dragon fruit in it, I'm spending $15 on just fruit. So today's mission, buy your own fruit, cut it up yourself, um, get a water filter. And there's some other things I need. Um, I need oil. Um, what is it called? Ziploc bags, oil. What else did I see? Ziploc bag, oils. I mean, cooking oil. That's it. Yeah. I think, did I update? Let me just double check here. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, wow. Yeah, just Ziploc bag and oil. Hopefully that's the only thing I come back with because you know how Target is. You get in there and then you want to buy everything, but I'm going to just stay focused, get what I need, get out. <laughs> Yeah, so that workout, like, just finished me. I can't, like, <laughs> I can't, I can't even think. Yeah, um, I can't miss days in the gym. Because when I do, then I feel like I've never been to the gym in my life. So, maybe one rest day, but two in a row? Yeah, Sam, don't, don't do it to yourself. I had to get my weekend ritual, my kale tonic. It's kale in today. It's, it's real good. Because sometimes, like, when I do get it, it tastes, I don't know. It's like, the last time I had it, it had, like, this spice on it. I don't know. It wasn't cayenne. It was just like spicy, but it also was from a different, um, a different first watch. This one is by my house. The other one was by my job. So I don't know. And then it was like really, really green. I mean, this one is green too, but it was just like, I don't know. I was like, did I order the right thing? But yeah, kale juice is definitely the wave. Ooh, let me spray this. And y'all, I've been... So, I told y'all earlier, I went to um, InvestFest and I bought this little car air freshener um, by Arom. I don't... I think it says Aram, Arom. I don't know, but they were spraying it all over inside of the building and it smelled so good. And she was like, oh, you should get one for your car. I mean, it was only $10, but y'all... It smells like, like, oh, it smells like Tom Ford almost in my car. 
I'm like obsessed with it. I keep spraying it every five minutes. I hope I can find them on Instagram. Get them a shout out. Tell them I need more. Because it smells really good. So yeah, breakfast, y'all. So mm, I sprayed too much. It got in my eye. Whew. It smells good. Anyway. Now it's time to go to Target, get the stuff, and get home. Just cutting up this fruit has gotten me stressed. Like, I'm really reconsidering, like, all right, Sam, just, you know, buy the smaller bowl. Maybe it won't be that much because I'm just, I really don't want to. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Or depending on how I feel when I get to um when I get to Target. And then the thing is I also want to juice and then I'ma have to cook. So I don't know. Cut up the fruit, juice, and cook. One gotta go. And honestly, y'all, I've been slacking so bad on my juicing, like I haven't even been making my shots, nothing. And I mean, I could blame it on not having turmeric because so when I do my shots, I buy turmeric, the root. And I haven't been, I, I couldn't find it anywhere until I found it in Publix. And last couple weeks, it's just, oh, we didn't get any. So it's like, all right. But I could make other shots. Like, I need to stop making excuses and do it. All right, let's see. Um, let me just get to Target, at least see where my headspace is, and we'll go from there. All right, y'all, so I'm home. I came back to several packages in front of my door. I opened it up to see what it was, and it's a whole bunch of stuff that I ordered from Amazon for my trip that just now came like a whole bunch of dresses and two piece stuff so i don't know maybe next, i always say oh i'll save it for next summer but like next summer comes and then something else is in I don't know yeah but hopefully next summer um also my glasses came if y'all don't know i'm low-key blind I'm blind a little bit. I'm low key blind. Um, <laughs> I wear glasses, but like I try to just wear them in my house or, you know, like if I'm reading. So the thing about it is like, I noticed I started getting these headaches and um, like behind my eyes would like hurt. So I went to get them checked. Doctor said, you know, you're putting pressure on your eyes. You need glasses. Did I know this before? Yes, I did. I used to wear glasses before, and I'm just like, all right. I kind of, sort of, I was supposed to um, renew my lens, like get, because the, the medicine in my old lens went bad, and I just, it didn't go bad, but I feel like it wasn't like doing anything for me, and I was supposed to go and get a new pair, and I just never did, and I just be working around sometimes, and you know. So, told myself, all right, Get my eyes checked, order a pair of glasses, and I did. And so when I went to um, get them in the store, they didn't have them, so they had to order them, and they came. Came in this cute little case. Real cute. I don't know. The case is really big. I don't know if it's something I could just throw in my purse, but it's a cute case. Um, of course, the little cloth to wipe it. And here are my specs, y'all. How cute. How cute. Yeah, so I don't know. Like, I thought they would look like every day, but now I'm like seeing like, I can't even say dressy because I, I, I would never wear glasses like going out. Like, it's not a neat thing. Like, no. So, I'm like, just keep those on. Also, these sandals I've been chasing forever, forever. Um, they were also they were also supposed to be a part of my little trip to Jamaica, but ended up coming later. These they were on back order, and then something happened. Oh, they came. The size was it was too small. I had to order a size up. Yeah, how much is that? 
my little Gucci sandals, purple and red, which is to me a crazy combination, but it's like, what do you wear these with? Do I wear it with red or purple? I, maybe red, because I don't know. I don't own anything purple at all, like nothing, nothing purple. So yeah, we'll figure that out. Maybe that's the next year thing too, because we're already like coming to the end of um, summer because I go into Target and I see nothing but like leaves and um, pumpkins and stuff. Like I'm excited, but I'm like, dang, like, I'm not here watching. So I did, I did everything I said I wasn't gonna do. I bought more stuff and I said, I did get the water filter. I did get the oil. It's in here. I got a water filter. So I wanted to get one to put onto my my pipe, whatever you want to call it. But this has an, a hose and attaching hose. I guess it can't go on there. So I just bought this little one. And yeah, this is a good enough size. Hopefully it could fill. I'll, I'll just probably have to keep refilling it, but yeah, that's cool. All the filters in here, don't throw that away, Sam. Also, I needed some toothpaste. I brought my watermelon, so we might have to cut that up. <laughs> I bought some grapes and I bought some peaches. They always say, oh, Georgia has the best peaches or whatever. I don't see the difference, but you smell so sweet, so good. So I'll have lunch and I won't have to buy you know, this expensive fruit from Publix. I also bought a bag of salad, seafood salad, baby sweetheart. Um, then, so I was in Target I don't know how I ended up in World Market, but I did. And they had these like pretty little, what are they called? Pompous? Pom? I forget. I call them feathery thingies. So cute. So these, my bedroom is black. So I was like, oh, I have a little vase space, vase, in my bedroom that these can go in. Um, so I picked them up. I picked up three three pieces. Can you believe one piece was 20? No, $15.99 for one. You buy one, it just looks stupid. So I had to buy three and just spend the money. It is what it is, but it's going to look cute. It better look cute. And then this one, it was a little bigger. It was $25. I don't have nowhere to put it, but I just thought it was so nice. But I'm sure I'll find somewhere for it to go. Isn't it pretty? I just feel like it puts a nice little touch on the room. So yeah, I bought those. Then I ended up... Oh, then I also seen this little plant. I don't know why I bought it. I mean, it, it's cute. I love the little jar it comes in the black jar i was like oh i mean i when i was in the store i wasn't saying like oh this could go there that i just bought it because i just thought it was really really cute so i'll find somewhere to put that then somehow why did i go to the mall i went to perimeter mall because i needed to buy some oh i needed to buy socks yeah i needed to buy socks they have socks so I went into, they had socks, but not the ones that I, I like no shows and they didn't have any and I wasn't trying to like look. So I was just like, let me go in. Bath and body, had to stock up on some candles. Um, so I usually buy the teakwood intense, smells so good. But I seen this white, what is it? Gardena, gardenia, white. I think this is a game changer y'all. It smells so good. I can't wait to light it. Yeah, I'm gonna light that. Then, went to Zara. I went to Edge, bought a dress. I mean, Zara, I only bought two pairs of earrings. I'll try those on and show you. 
and then edge. I bought two dresses. Why did I buy some dresses? Because it's again, it's starting to get cold, but the dresses were so cute. Like, I don't have anything. I do have denim, but that, I don't know. It was just really cute. So I bought two dresses. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I needed some pillows, also from Target. Yeah, I bought all that stuff. So I need to shower because. I feel sticky after the gym and just being outside buying all this stuff. Uh, I'm going to shower. I know, like, Sundays is usually just, like, a boring day for me. I just like to go to the gym, run errands, come home, make a nice dinner, go to bed. Like, I don't, Sundays, I prefer not to go out. So, yeah, I just be in the house. So, I'm about to go shower. Then I know it's still kind of early. Maybe I'll chop up my fruit, but I also like to start my dinner early on Sundays. And y'all, for dinner, I'm making brown stew fish, Jamaican brown stew fish. So, you know, you gotta fry it, then you gotta make the sauce. So, if I mean, start early, it'll be fine. And I, I like to eat my dinner before eight anyway. And y'all, guess what? I am watching. I just started watching Sex in the City. Yes, call me what you want. I've never in my life, never watched the show Sex in the City. So, when was it last? No, not last night, Friday night. I was like, let me see what this is about. Like all the girlies be talking about, oh, Samantha from Sex in the City and um, Carrie and all the other, Miranda, whatever. They always talk about, it. I just never know what it is. I watched one episode. I'm already, I watched season one, episode one. I'm already on episode seven of season one because like, I just couldn't stop watching. So anyway, I say that to say, I'm gonna cook dinner early, everything, so I can have my dinner and sit down and watch my Sex in the City. <laughs> All right, guys, shower time. All right, y'all, so I am fresh out of the shower which I needed, Lord. But anyway, I'm about to cut up my fruit and um, make dinner, of course, like I said before. Oh, I wanted to show y'all, I put the little thingies, don't mind my pillows. So I put them in this little vase here and I think it's kind of cute. What y'all think? Ain't it cute? It's a little vibe. It's cute. Yeah, my bedroom is coming along. It's coming along. I still need a few things. I want to put a mirror on that wall and that wall. I want to get a big wedding picture on this wall. And yeah, just, you know, just little things, little things. But yeah, so let's make dinner, y'all. Hey y'all, so 
I am so tired, sorry. I know last night I was supposed to record um, the two dresses that I had ended up buying in the mall, try them on, but man, when I tell you, after I ate and then I showered and I watched two episodes of Sex in the City, I was like, mm, it's not gonna work. I'm super duper tired. Then, Big hand from my hand was like, you know, I know you're tired. Like, let's go out to eat. You don't have to cook. So I was like, all right, like, let's go. So as I started to do my makeup, well, I just did my eyebrows. And I put my primer on. I was, um, I was like, oh, let me record like a little chit chat, get ready with me type ordeal. Well, not written. Yeah, chit chat, get ready with me type situation. And then... I also started watching the show um, Crazy in Love with Blueface and Krishan. Oh my god. I like you, you, it's like you watch things like that and you think, like, is that real life? And it it's like, it is. Like, I can't even, like, say it's not because, like, I've been in situations that were like super duper duper toxic and it's like you don't see it like you can't see it to save your life and I'm just like dang like she's just like I love you blue I love you and that man is just like ripping her to shreds man and it sucks like it really does but I mean, I've been in situations, I've been in toxic situations like that, and um, where you start to think certain things is love, such as like, um, just like the things they say, like, you know, men will always cheat. You will never find someone faithful. So just stick with me. I'm cheating because I love you. And <laughs> just craziness, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then it's like, there are situations where you end up in not even knowing who the person really is. Like, I've been in situations where I'm like, man, you got one, two, three, four, five, ten kids. I didn't even know that because I came in this situation thinking you were single with nobody. Same thing as, you know, I've been in relationships where it's like, yeah, you know, you're single, blah, blah, blah. Come to find out you've been married twice. Like, it's just like, you really got to do your research on, mm, And I've never been a researchy type of girl. I've always been the type of girl where it's just like, you know, I'm going to trust you until you give me reason not to. You know. Meanwhile, I got friends like, what's his first name? Last name? You know, the type of digging him up and stuff like that. But like, it's like nowadays you really have to do things like that. But I'm so glad that like, Man, like, I'm just glad that I'm not on the market no more because the way I'm seeing things going right now, I'm just like, I'm so okay. Hold on, let me put this lash on. For some reason, when I'm putting my lashes on, I feel it's so hard. I find it hard to talk. Let's see, put the back on. But yeah, you really gotta do your research when you talking to these guys because like they would really sell you a dream and have you in some messed up situations. You know what I mean? And I remember one time um, I was talking to this guy and he was so nice to me. He was so young, so nice and everything. And at this time, I think I had just made, no, I had just made it out of high school and I was talking to him and he was really sweet and everything. And, you know, he was like, maybe like three years older. Yeah. Cause I remember I was like, yeah, he was, no, he was more than that. He must have been like, cause he kept lying about his age. That's another thing too. He was like 23 at the time and I was 19. Sorry, you guys, my lashes, I just can't. And my eyes are burning like crazy. So he was 23 and I was about 19 at the time. 
And um, he was just so persistent, so nice, so everything. And I was like, all right, cool. At this time, I had just got my first heartbreak. This one in high school completely lied to my face. Samantha, I love you. You're the one for me, everything. I had my first big girl job. I'm at my job chilling, doing what I have to do. He walks in with his girlfriend, not even knowing that that's my job. So, yeah. But anyway, I had got my heart broken from that. So, now this is the second guy. I'm like, all right, you know. And um, he was so persistent. He had a nice car. He, I felt like, okay, this is a man. Like, you know. Um, he bought me everything I asked for. Anything I asked for, he bought. And just like anything he just felt to buy. He just, you know. And um, I remember he was like, we should go walking in Central Park. And I was like, all right, cool, you know, because at the time I was working down in the city. He was like, I'll come meet you when we go walk. All right, cool. You know, it was a cute little can of pigment from work with the flowers, everything. We get to walk into the park. We're walking in the park and I just hear a woman start screaming. And I'm like, <laughs> she's like, I knew it. I knew it. You cheater. You. And. Yeah, he had a wife. And I'm just like, ain't, ain't we, like, we're so young. Like, I, when I heard wife, like, it broke me, like, broke me. And um, I was a good, like, six to seven months in with this guy, you know? Like, you know when you're young and you talk about so it's like, yeah, I'm gonna marry him. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have his babies. Yeah, it was one of those situations. And yeah, so she came to the park and she was like, I knew it, you were lying, you were cheetah. And she starts fighting him in the park. So now I'm standing there awkward, don't know what to do with myself. I'm just watching. So like, I have the flowers in my hand. I start to walk off. I'm like, all right, this is very embarrassing. So I'm gonna just let y'all do y'all and fight right here and I'm gonna go. And as I start to walk off, um, the wife starts to fall. She runs behind me, grabs flowers out of my hand, and goes, And these are my flowers! And grab them. <laughs> I'm like, All right, do you sit? Listen, I'm not about to fight you over some supermarket flowers, so here you go. Gave <laughs> she not even gave her the flowers, she snatched them away from me, like, These are my flowers. And he's like, Why are you always doing this? I told you, and they are going, like, honestly, they were arguing, but I can't tell you the exact words, like, so, yeah, they were arguing, and, um, come to find out, they had just had a baby, mind you, I said I was seven months in with this guy, their baby was about two months, She was like, yeah, and the baby is always home and I gotta be home by myself. And I was just like, oh my God, why me? Like, and then she starts yelling at me like, he did it to me, he's gonna do it to you. And, and I'm like, lady, what you don't understand is I'm, I'm trying to get home. I'm looking for the train, cause I'm trying to get home. So, yeah, we out in the park, and they going crazy, they going crazy. I walk off, I find me. I make it outside of the park, and now, you know, I'm down in the city of Manhattan. Everything is still up and running and everything. I make it to a hot dog stand, and I'm in front of the hot dog stand, and I just break down in tears. I'm crying, 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 crying. Because, mind you, this is the love of my life. I was supposed to marry him. So... <laughs> I'm crying, crying, crying. I'm like, oh my goodness, like how, what? So, gather myself and um, I make it to the train station, get on the train. So when I get on the train, I'm underground. I get from underground and my phone is like, bling, 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 bling. It's like just all these messages coming in, these missed, you know, and of course it's him. And I was just like, yeah. I started to fall in love with you. I want you to leave me. I didn't tell you about the situation because I just knew you would leave. And I'm crying. And I'm reading. And I'm crying. 
and I'm reading. And um, I was just like, you know what? Just don't see anything. Deal with it another day. I make it off the train. And as I'm coming out of the train station, there he is. The um, beat me home on the train. And I come off the train and he's already explaining everything. Samantha, just listen to me like I love you. Don't do that. It's us. You know, I had broke up with her before she got pregnant. And, you know, she just, and I was just like, I don't know. I can't. And I start crying again. And, yeah, I start crying again. And, you know, he's telling me sorry. And the words, I love you, came out of his mouth. We so stupid with them stupid words. Samantha, I love you. You do? <laughs> Those words came right out of his mouth. And then I was like, no, you don't. He's like, I do. And then he was like, I don't want to lose you. Basically begging me. Oh, so I was like, I'm sitting there, I'm still crying. I'm crying. He's like, just get in the car. Let's go get something to eat. What I do. Dang, I messed up. Yeah, what I do. I get in the car. I go get something to eat. We gonna get something to eat. We're talking. Oh, We're talking. He's telling me, you know, I love you and I don't want to lose you. And yeah, you're the best thing that ever happened to me type. And I was just like, I want to be with you too. And then it was just like, well, you're about to have a baby. I mean, well, you already have a baby. And he was just like letting me know, like, don't be afraid of any of that because I will handle that situation. I was just like, okay. Why do we okay everything? Don't know. I okayed it. And we made up. And we dated. And but yeah, we stayed together and what I'm gonna tell y'all is like, that was just a very bad decision on my end because like, come on, like the person lies to you in the beginning, they're always gonna lie. And all that follows is, you know, his wife just like, he's like, what I had to realize is like, he was a married man. He was never going to leave. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. And no matter what, I love you. And it wasn't happening. But yeah. And again, like, because you were so in love with this person while they were in love with you before you know the whole situation. It's like, it's so hard to let go of that person. And the whole I'm gonna leave my wife, I'm gonna leave my wife situation just kept happening until one day, like this went on, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all for like two years. Two years, like to the point where like I feel like the wife like knew my number like by heart. That's so nasty and toxic. Like, that's so not a good situation. Like, yeah. Anytime I would call him, phone be off, he'd be ghosting. I knew within myself. But it's like, I don't know. Like, sometimes the sorries are just so sympathetic. And you're just like... Terrible, terrible thing. Terrible thing. But yeah, it lasted for um, a good two years until one day I was home. And then it's like this person had like full control over me. Like the person will call. I would like, hello, hello, hello. Mind you, that person could answer their phone when they want, you know. And then he would just give me the whole like, you know, I was doing this. I was doing that. And I just had to believe it. So, yeah, he called me one day and I just... I was laying in bed, eating pizza. <laughs> and I think at that point I was just drained. I just looked at the phone and I was just like, 
whatever. And he called. This was must have been like 10 at night. He called and he called. And I just grabbed my phone and I put it on um, airplane mode. Yeah. And I just watched a different world. And I watched Living Single that night. And I just had a good night. Then the next day, oh my clip in. Ciao. Then the next day, um, woke up, got my phone, took it off of airplane mode, you know, back to back. I'm like, what is this? Like, and it's like the minute I took it off. I got a call like they were still calling scary like very scary <laughs> answered it was just where were you and I was looking for you and you never had... and it was all of that and I was just like and then it got to it was so weird because it was like where were you I was looking for you blah 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 then it was, you know I love you, baby. Don't do this to me. Come on. Like, you having a good day? You all right? Weird. It's scary. Because it's like, once the person feels like they're losing control, like, because you no longer have that control of me saying, oh my God, he's calling. You know, once they feel like they're losing control, it's like they lose their mind. So, he felt like he's probably losing his mind losing himself I don't know I just didn't care and I got the phone like this and he telling me I love you I miss you da, 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 da. like I'm about to come pick you up like let's just go get food and just talk it over like we always do mm, I need some blues yeah like we always do and he's like yeah um I'm about to get gas right now I'm about to come pick you up and he's in the middle of the sentence and I just went like this. And I clicked the phone and put it down. And I never answered the phone again. <laughs> I, yo, that's what I'm telling you. Like, I don't know what came over me like that day, that moment, that like how, but it just happened and I just never answered. And then I'm not saying like no stalking, but yeah, you know, you don't answer the person that's going to try to show up anywhere and do certain situations happen. And I just like, I just told myself that never, like if, if I was walking, if I came off the train and I was walking road A, I now was walking on road M. Like I was, I was slick with it. Like I knew how to make that person never see me again, like ever. Not only that, the number changed everything. Like I'm gone. Like you'll never see me again. So yeah, that situation happened and it was just like, just disappeared out of his life. Like, and sometimes <laughs> you just, and then it's like, I was scared to get out of my situation because I was just like, I'm gonna miss him too much. I can't. I'm gonna miss him way too. I'm gonna miss him way too much. So I'm gonna just stay with him. Like, that's my man, my man, my man. <laughs> Yeah, so like you're, I was just so scared of being alone. But when I tell you, when I never answered the phone again, um, that day went to go get my nails done. I got a nice little washing set from the Dominicans. Um, <laughs> got my nails done, got my hair done. I went out to eat by myself. I went to Fridays, had a nice little meal, and I just felt so at peace, like. So at peace because that same day I had changed my number. So, you know, I was just sitting at the bar, had a nice little meal, no phone going crazy. Like, oh, 
man like ah uh, and um yeah got in my car went home and i was chilling like and you know of course those situations where um everybody knows you and that person are together and then you guys build mutual friends you know friends are starting to ask what happened what happened and me i'm saying like you know it just never worked out meanwhile such and such is saying like oh i got rid of that a long time that ain't for me but it's you know when i knew i didn't care when people were coming to me like oh how did how did he just break up with you i'm like he just did he just did because <laughs> i'm not about to sit here and be like first of all it went this because i don't care you know what i'm saying like when you don't care and you find the over situation, you honestly just don't care to like say what happened, when it happened, how it happened, like none of that. So yeah, it's just like people feel they have um, control over you and you're not going anywhere or anything like that. I feel like that's when they manipulate you and, you know, do all kinds of things to you, but yeah it's like and, and then it's like i wouldn't say that this always happens i just feel like all relationship most toxic relationships you'll soon get your wake up call because like nobody can tell nobody couldn't have told me anything about that man there was just no he loved me and everybody was telling me to leave the person and i was just like no and again like i just w literally woke up and was like mm -hmm. yeah i'm done <laughs> yeah but i don't know if i'm gonna put some curls in my hair because i'm being real lazy and this is a rush thing and the clippings is not hold on And y'all, if y'all not up on clippings, you're not up on life. When I tell you the way you could clip these out and go to bed and wake up the next day and feel like you wash a set blow dry mommy, <laughs> it really be given like. It really be getting. I'm about to put these the link for these in my Amazon store in case. These are the highlighted ones, which I really love. This is one pack, but I think I'm gonna get one more pack to give myself a little bit more blonde, blonde. Yeah, my hair's a little dirty, so I have to wash it. But I'm gonna just probably. I'm not trying to do the most. I'm about to just put some dry shampoo on it and get rid of some of this oil because i'm just so lazy i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired no i'm about to just put some um dry shampoo on it shake it out oh this one is no i'm about to shake it out and just go so all right we about to try on those two dresses because i'm not wearing a dress today because we're probably gonna go somewhere casual. This is one of the dresses I bought um, yesterday. Where's my brain? This one is just I bought yesterday. Um, it's a denim, a mid cut. I don't know if you can see. The thing with this dress is I'm gonna wear it because I'll probably take it off, save it. It was so hard to get into, but I like how it's looking. It's cute, right? Yeah, let's give it a hand. <laughs> yeah, so y'all yeah, might not see the other dress that I bought because this one was so hard to put on that I don't feel like putting the next one on. So yeah, this is the dress that I bought. The other one I bought was just like a regular black. Um, a regular black like sweater material type. Um, oh, I was doing my makeup. I forgot lip gloss. Yeah. 
So I figured I would just bring this bag. This is cute. This is cute. As I was saying when I was doing my makeup, you never know toxic relationships until you're out of them. Like, I know y'all probably listening like, oh yeah, she's stupid. I ain't. I get it. I was that person. Like, yeah, she dumb. I did it. Like, but now, like, I got a husband. <laughs> no, I do. And, like, even when I be feeling like I look like, please help me. He'd be like, you are so beautiful. And sometimes those words alone will make you feel like, because I was in a relationship where I, I was in, in that relationship, I started to like, think to myself, like, is it me? Do I, I and I started to like, feel so insecure. I didn't feel, I didn't feel pretty, any of those things. And then mind you, when I was going outside, like people was like, yo, shorty, yo, yo you know? So it's, it's just like, but now, I mean, I get attention, but I get it from the right person, you know? And my husband, he just makes me feel like everything. And honestly, sometimes I'd be like, you know what? I'm on my period. I feel fat. I feel ugly. My lashes need to be done and my eyebrows are cooked. So I'm going to just stay in bed. And he would just look at me and be like, but you're so beautiful. I'd be like, all right. And sometimes you need that. As a woman, you need that, you know? Just that companionship. And I'm not saying if you don't have it, like, you got to go out and get it tomorrow. But, you know, just always look for those little things in a man. Like, you know, just when you're yourself and they could love you for being yourself. That's when it's going to work, mamas. So, all right, I'm about to go. I love y'all. Peace.